cards here in front of us. The sun sets on the, the far west, southwest side, and almost all the deer light in here when there's it's cold out and snow on the ground. All the deer face bed down on the sunny side of the hill over there. Unfortunately, I think they're bedding a little further away this year than what they have been in the past. We haven't had a whole lot of daylight activity. We hunted here uh, last Tuesday, and we had all of our shooters about 55, 60 yards out here in front of us, and uh, the wind swirled, I think, and they all just took off running, unfortunately. We didn't know they were there until they started running. There's a low hedge where it separates the two fields, and they were just back in that area, evidently, but they came through about 520, which sunset said, uh, 540 right now, so we're open. With this cold front, we had a bunch of snow come down. Uh, it rained most of the day yesterday, then snowed most of the night and throughout the day today, so the, the snow's pretty crunchy right now. They're going to have a hard time getting to any corn. So, uh, I don't know, let's hope they're extra hungry today and they come in and give Dad a good 20, 30 yard shot.
for the Harding family. <laughs> oh, absolutely. I don't want to take old dad's glory, so <laughs> he shot a beautiful buck, um, a little low, maybe back a hair, but I think we're going to give him some time tomorrow and uh, just give him all night. It's plenty cold, but good job, dad. I'm proud. I'm proud. So, uh, but and, we know where our doe is for all <laughs> Yeah, it's the first deer I've ever shot with a crossbow. Believe it or not, I was still pretty excited. Uh, my father and I never got to double on any deer, so I wanted to capitalize on I, I have one last doe tag to use in Tusk County, and uh, oh, it, feels, it actually feels pretty good. So I think we're going to hurry up and wrap up, do some cutaways, go get her, drag her down out of the field quick, and uh, I don't think his buck went very far. Its tail was kind of flickering the whole way across the ridge there. There's hardly any woods up there. There's only a about a 50 yard wide strip, maybe a half a mile long, so he's not gonna be hard to find as long as nobody or nothing gets him up and running, so. Sweet. <laughs> well, here's my arrow. I do have some blood there on it, and on the arrow itself. Uh, I know it wasn't quite a perfect shot, and we don't want to spook it, so we're gonna let him bed down tonight. It's very cold out, and uh, we think we'll not chase him and get him spooked and running tonight. We'll come back out tomorrow and see if we can't round him up. Well, here's my doe. Uh, Dad and I are trying to be a little bit quiet. About 10, 15 minutes before I shot her, we had a beautiful five point come in. He's actually been uh, been seen about a mile from here and he just moved onto my property about two weeks ago or a week and a half ago. And uh, we knew he was coming to this cornfield pretty regularly, so uh, we came out, we had a good west-northwest wind, which is what we need for our little hay bale blind, and we sat in this little bottleneck of a cornfield here. Man, there was deer all over. So we had six or seven bucks and a handful of does come in. That deer walked this tree line back here behind me after he shot it, and uh, I'm kind of worried he can come up to recover her. I, I don't want to bump him up off of his bed or anything. Looks like a liver shot. We're gonna give him all night, and uh, Dad and I will be out tomorrow afternoon to uh, hopefully do the recovery, so. Bamsey. Good job. Boom. Thanks for the hunt. <laughs> it and videotaped it go to the tree line uh, it was walking slow we knew it was going to lay down and we was afraid we'd spook it and be chasing it all night if we followed it last night so being so cold we uh, left, it, left it go until the day after work my son and I came out and uh, we uh, got it we, we found it right about where we thought it would be at but uh, we drug it down here and uh, you can see the line that we shot it out of right behind us here up, up the hillside it's a beautiful place to hunt guy came in with a bunch of other deers. Uh, my son shot the doe, a doe right after uh, we shot this in here. Filled his doe tag out. It's just a 